Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tani, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite drills. These drills are perfect for small spaces indoors and for beginners. Each one of these is a great movement to practice before moving on to harder stuff on roller skates. If you've just gotten your skates, or you've had your skates for a little while but are stuck indoors and want some ideas on what you can practice on, go ahead and keep watching, and let's jump right into the video. For some of you that may have been watching me for a while, you might have noticed that I have some new wheels. They are very slick and not what I'm used to quite yet, and I will be reviewing them here soon. This first move I'm going to be showing you is a great foundational move for the dribble and also for turns. And I call them slides. I love this move because it's so much fun. You're just sliding your feet in opposite directions. You don't have to lift up your heels or your toes or anything. You just bend your knees and you can practice going back and forth. Ah. You can put on some fun music and boogie down a little bit and just have fun with it. Once you feel comfortable, you can work on turning. I wanted to slow this down for you so you could get a better idea about what your feet are doing when you are turning and switching from side to side. Slides help with the progression of learning the dribble. Mine is still a work in progress, but I've come a long way. The dribble is a great thing to drill as well and good for small spaces. The next move that is an excellent move to practice because it helps with stopping and also is one of the best ways to start going backwards and forwards is called bubbles. You can start out with small bubbles and you can do larger bubbles and you can just go back and forth. There's a lot of different ways that you can practice these even in a smaller space. With bubbles, you really want to focus on the mind-muscle connection. When going back, you tighten the back leg muscles. When going forwards, you tighten the front leg muscles. This is why I like strength training so much, because it helps build strength in the muscle groups that you need to use. It also can help a lot to bend your knees. When going forward, I personally put pressure towards the outside of my skate, and then when I'm going back, it's almost towards the inside and heel when I bring them back together. It's really important to know where to put your balance and pressure in your skate when doing these. This next drill that I'm gonna show you is great for moves like the barrel roll, which is a new move I just discovered and I think it's a lot of fun. What I love so much about this move is it really teaches you how to transfer your weight and that when you transfer your weight, you free up your skate to move. With this particular movement, you kind of go out at a V. So when you stand, you stand in a slight V and you push your leg out at an angle away from you. You bend your knee and put the weight onto the leg that is not moving and then you slide the opposite leg out on its heel. With the weight completely off of that leg, you can move that foot freely in front of you and behind you. When you slide that leg behind you, it reminds me of sort of a curtsy. You bend both knees and you slide up onto your front two wheels. And again, it's at an angle behind. You can drill this until you're pretty comfortable with it and then you would be ready to move on to the barrel roll. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you here. I have no idea how I managed to do this. I really couldn't tell you how I even learned it, <laughs> but I'll go ahead and slow it down for you. I know that helps me. And then I'll give you a side view so that you can get a better idea as well. But if I think about this move too hard, I definitely get a little bit confused. And when I try to start doing it again after I haven't for a while, it takes me a minute. This next drill helps me a lot with my crazy legs. And it's just basically doing the switch foot. This is one of those moves that's really good to practice in your shoes or in your socks before you try them on roller skates. Most of the time, if you can't do them without skates on, it's going to be even harder with skates on. 
make this move if I want to move my toes I put a little bit more weight in my heels and if I want to move my heels I put a little bit more weight in my toes so it's a very quick transfer of weight here's my updated crazy legs I've come a long way and I've got a little ways to go for my very last girl that I'll be showing today this one is great for the crossover that we see so much on TikTok. This movement is awesome because it really helps you get used to stepping and transferring your weight while trying to stay somewhat stationary and not losing your balance or having the wheels slip out from underneath you. You're just stepping to the side and then stepping back in. You can then take the move and double tap to the side and this really gets you ready for the crossover. I don't really know why I started doing the cha-cha, but I guess I just wanted you to understand that it helps to get comfortable with stepping. One way to break down this move is just to cross over and then come back. That way you don't have to fully commit if you're not ready. Now there is quite a few different variations of doing a crossover. You know, the standing crossover where you fully cross, but you don't really move a lot. You are basically just staying stationary. And this can be pretty difficult because having wheels on your feet, you're naturally going to want to roll and move. You can always hold on to something like the wall or a chair to help you get comfortable with this move at first. Now as you get more comfortable with this move, it becomes less of a cross over and kind of almost a cross in front because the movement will become more fluid and as you're crossing over, your back leg will be sliding out and ready to then cross in front. Doing the cross over this way is much easier, especially when you're moving a lot quicker going forwards. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again super soon. Take care.